All right, so I'm back after a little break, and uh, while I don't have AC yet in my shop, what I do have is this new to me ShopSmith Mark 7. Now, ShopSmith today makes a tool called the Mark 7, but this is a 1960s vintage machine. It was manufactured by a company called Magna American. Now, Magna American was actually the third manufacturer of the ShopSmith line. It was originated in the 1940s by Magna Engineering. Magna Engineering was swallowed up by a company called Yuba or Yuba Consolidated. Yuba then sold off the ShopSmith line to uh, a group that was known as Magna American. This machine was introduced in the, in the early 1960s and then uh, along with a radial arm saw and a few lawn tools were all that was being produced when the company went out of business in uh, the late 1960s only to be snatched up and brought back to life in 1972 by John Folkerth. Anyway, um, I need to get into the manual on this because it didn't come with a manual, and I'll be back in a couple days and tell you what I've learned. We'll uh, clean this up, run it through a few paces, and let you see what's unique about this machine. And believe me, there are quite a number of unique features. Now, where would you get a manual if you don't have a manual? Well, that's a great question. I like the way you think. Uh, a channel member here, Mr. Everett Davis, who is a contributor every corner of the internet where uh, ShopSmith people gather on uh, the ShopSmith groups on Facebook, on the ShopSmith forum, even over on the Vintage Machinery website, uh, Everett has shared a number of manuals that, that he has first um, restored and then went on to add, along with the help of a couple other people, some information that was actually missing from those manuals. And I have that manual. I'm gonna to link to that, uh, but I do wanna say thank you, Everett, for the work you've done and for others that have helped you. Um, I, I look forward to your contribution as I dig into this and try to restore it. I'm gonna give you the full story behind this machine when we meet here in the next couple of days and uh, hopefully get this in a condition that I can show you a few things. In the meantime, make a great day.